Wednesday, everybody. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week. It is super sunny here. I'm going to try not to put my sunglasses on. Just try to position everything so we're covering it. We'll wait a few minutes to let people get on. I am a little bit later than usual today, so sorry about that. But for those of you who are just getting on, my name is Claudia Cometa. I am a pharmacist and independent skincare consultant. Hi. I am coming here every Wednesday around this time. It's not always exactly, but around this time to bring you tips and tricks for achieving the best skin of your life. Hi, Diane. So today, because it is very timely for the holiday coming up, which is St. Patrick's Day, I wanted to talk about our skin's aging process and how much that might be due to luck. So as you know, St. Patrick's Day is um, coming up tomorrow and sort of the hallmark icon for that is shamrock and a shamrock is a symbol of good luck in Irish tradition. And so I thought we would talk a little bit about luck slash genetics with regard to our skin's aging process versus our lifestyle habits. So researchers have actually looked into how much of our skin's aging process is luck or genetics versus our lifestyle is they take identical twins. So if we have identical twins and we have pretty much an identical DNA or genetic profile, we can then say that anything that is changing with those twins with regard to, for instance, in this case, skin aging, um, we know is due to lifestyle and not genes. So that's how we study it in sort of the clinical world. And what they have found are there are certain factors that are much more related to genes, but there are quite a few factors that are very related to lifestyle that impact our aging quite significantly. And so the things that are related more on the genetic side or luck side are things like our propensity or likelihood for skin discoloration. So you may see, you know, people who are in the sun quite a bit who maybe don't visibly have freckling or discoloration, whereas another person may go out in the sun for, you know, half of a day, you know, very irregularly or infrequently and get quite a bit of freckling from that. And so that can be genetically predisposed. Also the likelihood or propensity for stretch marks. What we do know though, there are a lot of lifestyle factors that impact our skin's aging and those include things like smoking and our exposure to the sun. So long periods of time in the sun, especially without sun protection, as well as years of smoking can impact our skin's aging and health very significantly. And of course, obviously other parts of our health as well. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out is stress. So the level of stress that we have closely correlates at, to the level of cortisol that is running through our bloodstream. And cortisol actually results in the breakdown of collagen, which is a key structural protein in our skin. So the more stressed we are under, whatever that might be for, um, you know, some people that could be family stress or job stress or just in general a more stressed personality, what they do know and find the more cortisol and the more collagen breakdown, which results in more fine, fine lines and wrinkles. And of course, if you're stressed, you're usually expressing it that way on your skin. So you might have expression lines that our deeper, deeper expression lines due to your visible, visible expression of that um, frustration and stress. So I just wanted to go over, you know, what, um, what is luck versus what is not luck and what you can do about it. So there are certainly lots of lifestyle factors that we have control over um, and that um, are not due to genetics. And so definitely smoking is a big thing. Sun protection, always wear your sunscreen and do your best to incorporate some stress limiting modalities into your daily routine. Um, of course, this is all in addition to using great skincare products, but just wanted to touch on that today. I hope you found value in that. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next Wednesday.